Hi everyone, this is Vinayad. Today our topic is equation of motion under a central force. Before entering this topic, first what is the definition of central force? Central force is a force which is acted upon by a particle towards or away from the fixed point. Then the force is called as central force. This central force can explain by using polar coordinate system R and theta. That's why in the last class we have to find out radial velocity, transverse velocity, radial acceleration and transverse acceleration. Now our aim is to find out equation of motion of a particle under a central force. We know that Equation of motion of a particle under a force according to Newton's second law, we get a F equal to ma. Like that, motion of a particle under a central force, equation of motion of a particle under a central force, I can written as F equal to m into a r plus a theta. Let us say equation number 1. Because Central force can explain by using polar coordinate system. Polar coordinate system is nothing but it having radial component and transverse component. But under central force, under central force, central force, transverse acceleration is zero. Let us say equation number transverse acceleration is zero because central force acting always towards or away from the radial direction towards or away from the radial direction there is no force acting along transverse direction perpendicular direction that's why transverse acceleration is zero what is the value of a transverse acceleration r into d square theta by dt square plus 2 into dr by dt into d theta by dt equal to 0. I can written as this equation 1 by r into d by dt of r square into d theta by dt equal to 0. Now we applied UV formula, we get uh, these values. Now d by dt of r square into d theta by dt equal to 0. 0 into anything is 0, 0 into r equal to 0. Now we applied both sides integration. Then derivative integration cancel. We get r square into d theta by dt here. And uh, integral 0, we get a constant. r square into d theta by dt equal to let us say h let us say equation number 3 what is our aim here to find out equation of motion of a particle under a central force from equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 our central force equation f equal to what we get? M into A R. Now, F equal to, I can written as minus M into A R. Here, minus represents our central force is attractive force. Minus represents our central force is attractive force. F equal to minus m into a r represents radial acceleration what is the value of radial acceleration d square r by dt square minus r into d theta by dt whole square and this is the equation of motion of a particle under a central force okay but I want equation of motion of a central force in the standard notation that means in the reciprocal radius 
reciprocal radius reciprocal radius r equal to 1 by u i want equation of motion of a particle under a central force in the terms of u now replaced r by u how to replace now first we have to find out dr by dt d by dt of what is our r value 1 by u d by dx of 1 by x we get minus 1 by x square that's why we get minus 1 by u square again u derivative we get du by dt now i can written as this equation minus 1 by u square into du by i multiply with d theta and divisible with d theta equation does not change d theta by dt from equation 3 what we get d theta by dt we get h by r square minus 1 by u square into du by d theta into what we get h by r square d theta by dt value from the equation 3 now dr by dt equal to minus 1 by u square into du by d theta into h into 1 by r square can be written as u square here u square u square cancel finally we get minus h into du by d theta now we find out d square r by dt square d square r by dt square it can written as d by dt of dr by dt what is the value of dr by dt dr by dt we get minus h into du by d theta now i can written as this equation minus h into d by dt into du by d theta again i write this equation minus h into d by dt into du by dt now this equation multiply with d theta and uh, divisible with uh, d theta then we get minus h into d by d theta into du by d theta into d theta by dt from equation 3 d theta by dt we get h by r square then minus h into d by d theta into du by d theta into what is the value of d theta by theta we get h by r square means h u square finally d square r by dt square equal to we get minus h square u square into d square u by d theta square substituting this value in this equation then we get central force equation f equal to minus m into what is the value of d square r by dt square minus h square u square into d square u by d theta square minus what is the value of r let us let us take r equal to 1 by u what is the value of r r equal to 1 by u and what is the value of d theta by dt d theta by dt from equation 1 h by r square means h u square that means h u square whole square now f equal to here minus of minus plus minus of minus plus then f equal to m into h square u square into d square u by d theta square plus here h square u power of 4 here u u cancel we get a h square into u cube 
now f by m equal to f by m equal to here common h square u square h square u square and then what we get here d square u by d theta square plus u let us say f by m equal to let us say p then p equal to what we get here h square u square into d square u by d theta square plus u finally d square u by d theta square plus u equal to what we get here p by h square u square and this is the equation of motion of a particle under central force in the standard notation in the reciprocal radius vector okay clear thank you